Hello, this is Roland1990 from East Coast Gaming, and I'm bringing you another episode of Mass Effect. Where we last were playing, we were, you know, doing the uh, side quest a little bit so we could, you know, be ready for the next bit of the main quest. I think we're just about done all side quests that we can do right now. So, let's get it cracking. Just gonna run through here to make sure I get everything. I don't wanna... miss anything if I don't have to. This guy is black. Literally. Just all black. Anyway. I hope I can get up this mountain. Kind of should have thought of that before we parked the Minko up here. <clears throat> Check the map. So it seems like we're done here. Alright, now that we're back to the Indy. Let's check our gear. Alright, seems like we got the best gear we're gonna have right now without buying any. Effect is being weird. 
seems like some of the most of the planet names are off screen and the text in the boxes are a bit big so I apologize for that I have no idea why it's doing that at all Actually, I'm going to look where the uh, Geth area is. Armstrong Cluster. <clears throat> Since we're going to be fighting Geth, I think it would be best if we take a tech heavy team. So that way we can handle them. I'm not sure if I should have one tech heavy and then one biotic. I do have warp and whatnot, so I think I'm just gonna take Garrison and Tally for my team for this world. Mako struggling a bit to get up here. Kind of interesting. Here at East Coast Gaming, we kind of do things differently, so if it can't handle the way we do things, it can get out. Watching, what's your favorite part of the Mass Effect trilogy so way. far? And what are you hoping to see in Mass Effect 4? It's been rumored that it's going to be seen this year at E3, and I really hope it is because I 
fucking love Mass Effect, and if we can get any kind of, you know, sneak peek at it at E3, it would be great. I would absolutely love to see something new about Mass Effect. stupid on my part, but, you know. The Mako gives no fucks, it'll climb all kinds of surfaces. Go, may go. Now we're back here. Garrus? Garrus? You might need to recalibrate yourself. Anyway. We, uh... We kinda died. I was not expecting what came through. During the battle I attempted to save because there was a lull in the battle and I wasn't sure. There was more coming? Well, I knew right away as soon as I tried to save, there was more coming and we were overrun. So I'm going to save. We are saved up. So now we're going to go through these containers. Gear up. geared up. We're ready. I'm going to save him. Alright, let's go. We're dealing with husks, so I'm going to have myself switch to, I think.
All right, that went smoothly. Perimeter secured. Yeah, we'll see about that. I know what he fucking secure because as soon as we get close to that door. screwed so we're gonna open that door here we go all right guys overload Lift you um sabotage him, I guess. This ain't over yet, guys. We've got gas as soon as Move in, move, move this way, please. Okay, Death Destroyer, I don't like you. Can we hack it, maybe? Take a moment for my shield to come back sometime soon. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's kind of dry this morning. Let me take care of that sniper, please. Thank you. That sniper's still there. Let me get a sabotage on him. Thank you. Commander. Yep. Let's save. Alright. The Geth vanquished so far. We're going to have a look around. Stiletto 5. I just got the fourth one. Jesus Christ. I'm getting lucky with loot today. Another stiletto. You see this tornado? The shotgun's fucking insane. And we've got incendiary rounds. So they can be helpful. I'm not sure if they'll be good with gas because 
I remember reading somewhere that if you use certain damage per second ammunition on gas, it won't really make that much of a difference because I think they they uh, heal over time anyway. So. Unless I should stop them from healing. It's weird. That shit's weird, so. I'm not sure. Pardon me. <clears throat> so, now I am running around with a chicken. Like a chicken with its head cut off. Because I'm trying to find my way out and I'm derping. One second. Now see, with these loots that I've got... With these... Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, um, make those right there, so... Rocket Trooper is fucked. thing to do on this world and then we are finished. Unless I get my fucking Mako stuck. was from what the fuck just happened were from the guest battle so I'm just gonna chalk it up to me being a shit driver
get out of here. Okay, now that we're back on Normandy, we are going to go to the next gas infested world. So, since we ran into husks, I'm not sure if we should bring Liara along with Tally. So, I don't want to be stuck in the middle of a battle and not be able to handle it. So, we're going to go with the old team. Okay, now that we're here, I'm going to save and check out where our next objective is. It's this way. the fucking thresher mall out of the way we are going a different route on the guest outpost, so we're gonna go this way, to
This may prove difficult. You need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. supposed to be taking these guys out with the Mako but it just seems like there were so many of them that I really shouldn't be facing on foot so I just All targets down. Okay, now that we're finished here, let's head to Normandy. message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now, we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. 
Good luck. We're gonna have to do that because I believe after we finish that mission, we get our <coughs> army subquest. Not subquest, but um, subclass. soon before we get the chance to get in here. Let me save. It helps if we explore the world a bit more and finding things that aren't on the map. I'm not sure if I really should include that or if I should leave that out. I know these episodes are long as it is, but I feel like I really can't do enough in 30 minutes, you know? I just... It doesn't seem right. It's all flat land, I am noping out. I'm getting close to my maximum amount of items. Great, so after this, we should probably head back to this. In room. Um. 
um, after we're done with this mission, perhaps we should, uh, head back to the Citadel, go sell some more shit, and break some of it down in zombie gel, because I do fail at the occasional combo sequence that we all have seen, so, <clears throat> Plus, Omnigo wouldn't hurt too much because it kind of helps with repairing the Mako as well. seeing on the um, radar here. I think I know now. What the hell? Why are they all the way there? That makes no sense. We didn't expect them to go up the mountain. decide to jam me a mile away from where the objective actually is, so I wanted to be sure. Oh, that's why they put the turrets. They made it so you have to go down here. 
Well, I still outsmart him, so. Stuck? It is indeed stuck! I don't feel right about uh, killing him like that. our usual team. Once we've landed, we're going to save. And that will go grab the other stuff. All the debris and stuff before we Move on to the final part here. That way, once we're done there, we can just leave. Ah! 
make it. Make up the hell. Once we make it up this hill, we're gonna check this thing out. Hopefully it'll give a lot of us peace with all the work we did just to get there. So. Kind of weird considering the probe was right there. And it's all the time I have today. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch it, to watch this. I do plan to keep going with this, so please like, comment, subscribe if you like this. And if you want to see more, please in the comments get leave me any suggestions, any game suggestions, and everything else. Any constructive criticism is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Have a good one.